Good morning. Welcome to the FTS Bet Slip on Saturday. The Saturday. <laughs> Here we go. Kevin Kelly will be laughing. It's Monday on Monday, the twenty sixth of September. Um, I hope you're all well. As the world's burning, uh, the the we haven't even got the balls to call it a budget. The fiscal event. Um, I think when the, the whole of the world markets start to. Um, take effect you think you got old rands up sometime and go you got it catastrophically wrong of course twitter is full of all of a sudden economic experts who know better um but the bottom line is we've just got absolute clowns in charge we've got idiot people are idiots we got idiots running the country we've got idiot celebrity or well i say the word celebrity they're not, they're not celebrities to me but we basically have got a country full of grifters um, Trump is king of the grifters and I told you we always follow the US we have copied I mean, people saying trust should go we should never have got rid of Boris Boris should never have ever been near that job in a million years and that is leading us to where we are now we have just got grifters everywhere Bo Boris is a massive fucking grifter this lot now just doing whatever they can to, to get as much money for themselves and fuck anybody else we've got celebrities as I say people like you know, both sides, Owen Jones, Farage, Julia Hartley Brewer, Morgan, um, whoever they are, all just talking bollocks permanently to millions of people um, to, to grift, to make a fucking living, to get money out of it. Um, they're all, the whole world is just full of grifters. We need some fucking serious people in charge. Uh, and we need to change the culture of this country of listening to fucking idiots repeatedly. Um I just don't get it. I just, it absolutely baffles me and drives me mad that we just have a country that is so easily swayed by fucking clowns and idiots. Um, what is going on currently is absolute fucking madness. Um, and, and anybody who says it isn't, show me some fucking proof then. Show me some fucking proof. And don't just say, we've got to wait. You know, Brexiteers now, or whatever it is, remain as a... Sorry, Brexiteers, yeah, I don't know which one they are. Fucking that, sick of them. Uh, oh, now we've got to wait 10 years. Well, that's not what you said, is it? Now we've got to wait 10 years. This now, oh yeah, we've got to wait for this economic policy to kick in. There's people who can't fucking eat and drink. Fuck's sake, honestly. You fucking wankers. Absolute fucking wankers. Drives me fucking mad. Um... But there we go. It's absolute fucking joke. Uh, really interesting to see what happens. And then the old right wing's one in Italy. It's all happening. It's all the good news today. See what happens there. Um, but yeah, going to be a tough old couple of years. But I had a lovely email. I've put it up on Twitter. A lovely email from an FTS supporter. Or oh, FTS supporter? No, that's not right. Is it FTS member? He is an FTS supporter as well, but an FTS member who... Um, who uh, has changed his gambling around and doing very well. I've put it up on Twitter. Love it. Absolutely one of the nicest emails I've had this year. Fantastic email. And um, all the best to him. And I promise you we're going to take more people on that. We've got more podcasts to come. We've got training to come. We've got automation help. We've got Excel help. We've got loads of stuff um, doing. We're having a whole, for those who don't know, I don't know what I've told you this, we're having a whole new website built. That's why things are taking a bit longer. Completely... Uh, brand new website um, which just well, in effect the whole idea is to make the journey better for people so that rather than have to hunt around for things we can uh, easily point you to where you need to go depending on where you're at um, and um, yeah and we will get people there I'm going to be making some videos this week um, and then obviously we've got football back after this international nonsense is gone and um, whilst of course it's not you know, you shouldn't promote gambling. Not allowed to promote gambling these days, are we? Not allowed to do any say anything. Not allowed to talk about the word gambling. Um, I do genuinely think that uh, for FTS members, we're going to march you through um, this next couple of years um, profitably. No, you can't say that. You can't say. It. Well, I am saying it. So there you go. Because I do, um, I do think that things like this offer an opportunity and. and you know, perhaps it'll focus the minds of people rather than it being throwaway money. People might take their money a bit more seriously, and we can, uh, when you tend to do that, you tend to focus better, and then you tend to do better. Um, and I think with the right bit of 
training and pointing you in the right direction on how to trade some of these markets people will um, do much better and we've got and we got some great um, stuff coming that's going to help you as in additions we're making to the site um, in terms of modeling and all sorts that are going to help people um, so yeah good stuff anyway all this was about all this podcast was about to tell you that there's um, we had the first half goal up on Saturday it happened in about 30 seconds at Sheffield Wednesday um, we've got another one for today which is uh, Las Palmas Granada Las Palmas Granada tonight at 8 o'clock um, you can um, um, yeah well you can do it how you want you can do it from the start you can wait 15-20 minutes and go in but fancy a first half goal at Las Palmas Granada if it was 0-0 at half time you might want to enter the one and a half market at half time and trade that um, but my um, you know as part of what I do I want to do a lot more trading videos um, I'm going to do some videos on general bet angel setup for people I do use bet angel um, I'm just going to we're going to have an area on the site with some automation files and some general help um, so I'm going to do some videos on that and then obviously when I'm showing um, my trades people can copy that that what I do basically so yeah all good stuff anyway have a lovely um, Monday um, really it's quiet isn't it not much on Sam's having her rip sorted this week hopefully um, and there will be the pod going up Thursday um, next in the new series um, with the written blog you'll need to look at the written blog because there's a bit of numbers on this one relating to football so you will need to read that and um, and then football's back Friday so we'll be back into um, yeah we've got an onslaught then which is good um, I'm, I'm looking forward to the next six eight weeks have we got um, some proper football until we get to the World Cup and then again obviously the World Cup we can work on some more training and stuff like that um, I haven't decided what people are asking me what I'm going to do for the World Cup. I haven't decided um, yet. I don't know whether I'm going to commit to do a... I'm not going to be watching it, so I'm not really sure I'm going to commit to doing a daily podcast on it. But I did for the last one do some one and a half goal um, trades. I may do that. I'll, I'll see what where we're at website-wise and what time scales are. Um, I've actually got... Um, if Sam's hips all go okay, I'm going to be all on my own, all on my own for Christmas and New Year because she is going to Malta um, for about five, six weeks again. So I'm going to be all on my own. Um, it's her birthday as well. Miss her, but it'll be our first Christmas together that we miss, first birthday that we I miss. Um, but she wants to go out and have a Christmas with her grandchildren if her uh, legs and hips, which is fully understandable. And I can't because I can't. Well, one football resumes on Boxing Day and the dog. Um, and my sister is over from Australia who I want to see as well so um, I want to go and see her for a few days over that period so there we go I'll be all on my own anyway the world is not burning um, let's just hope we do get some sensible people I just you know I, as I say I just find what people believe now and what people are um, driven to and the selfishness in the world is the, the one thing I just find this this desire for I'm all right, Jack, and fuck everybody else is quite staggering and growing. Um, but I'm going to help as many of you through the bollocks of all this as I can. Um, right, have a lovely little Monday, and I will be back with you all um, probably Thursday. And then, as I say, we'll then get into once the football starts, and I'll do more regular ones. Um, so, yeah, have a good week. <laughs>